the painting tutorial. In this one, we're going to look at the uh, new Sylvana uh, tr warband for Underworlds. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name because I can't remember how that's pronounced. So I started out with a light brown uh, spray base coat, uh, and I'm spraying on dryad bark here, just giving an overcoat or, or an undercoat of everything. Um, I'm doing the green here on the, uh, the the main the leader. The idea here is just to lay down some quick base coats. I'm not worried about being perfect. Um, the airbrush is just a quick way to do it. Um, so obviously, some of the cover colors are going to overlap, and I change my mind in a couple colors like that. This thing here is going to end up being a light bark color, a Talbert thing. Um, and then I'm doing the gray, which is going to be the base coat for the skin and the hair. Um, again, not worried about getting 100% coverage. Um, I'm going to overspray a bit on the other areas, but the idea is that spraying it on the airbrush gives me a nice even coat. Uh, and this is really hard to get on uh, a nice even coat, but with brush, you don't have to do a couple layers or whatever. So this just gives me a head start on all of that. Okay, XV88, um, base coating this... Uh, thing here. I'm making it look kind of like it's, I don't know, some sort of like fall color leaves or whatever. Uh, and then starting to dry brush on some of the highlights of the brown. So I, I went back and I touched up the dried bark to make sure everything was uh, colored the right way. Um, and I'm just dry brushing on these uh, greens and browns here just to help me get get a head start on everything. Stracking greens, a nice light brush, dry brush on there. Okay, and uh, yeah, obviously with the dry brushing, you're going to overlap in colors, but that's okay, it helps helps blend them. That's why I'm alternating back and forth between browns and greens. Uh, being Billy Brown, quick dry brush. Okay, now I'm going to shade all that with Agrax Earth Shade. I'm going to go back and I'll touch up the highlights later, but what this does is just helps blend those dry brushes, makes it look a little less chalky, and uh, helps bring the shadows down a bit more. Uh, doing the bases while I'm at it and some of the green tiers, so the camo shade, you see the bases in the background doing those basically the same way um, as the rest of the greens and browns. Uh, the difference, there's a bit of rock there which is getting some gray colors. So just uh, yeah, shading all the green bits here. Okay, now this here is the uh, the technical paint, Nalic Oxide, um, and I watered it down with some medium. Sorry, this is off camera. So basically painting over everything that was the gray and getting that a nice even coat of that. Um, some of the other items like the, the swords and, the, and this staff here, they're all getting the Rackrath Flesh base coat. Um, I should have base coated this before I did that wash, but uh, what I'm doing here is just picking out the highlights. So the wash is staying in the shadows um, and uh, just picking out the Rackrath just to give it a bit of a different color from the rest of things. Going back with the celestial gray on all the skin and doing highlights. So keeping away from the shadows where that the nice uh, turquoisey color is and uh, just getting some of the highlights. Um, I paint all these spirit creatures. I'm not sure what they're called. Um, different colors and I don't really show that here. It's just basic, uh, basic greens and, and purple and whatever. Uh, okay, so a little shade on the, the items there, so all of the staffs and the swords. Now I'm trying to do some um, highlighting here. Some of this I mess up and I have to redo. But basically using the shades as glazes. You see there, I, I messed up. I didn't let it dry. So I have to go back and touch that up with the background flesh. Uh, there you go. And uh, redo some of the highlights. Okay, now going in with white scar and doing edge highlights on all the uh, skin colors and hair and all that sort of thing. Just trying to bring out some of the details on that. You're going to do the same sort of edge highlighting on the weapons with the same white. Um, and I use white a little bit later on some other things, but uh, going back and forth with some of the colors just to make sure that everything looks good. So just doing trying to do extreme highlights with the white. Okay, highlighting up this with towel light ochre. Um, Nothing really fancy, just going along the edges away from the overlap parts. And uh, Baylor Brown for the next highlight, just trying to get the edges on that. Now I do go back uh, with some Rackra Flesh Shade. Sorry, not Rackra, some, uh, what is it, Reichland Flesh Shade. Um, oh, there's some Agra Shade going in there on the recesses, sort of picking them out 
not doing a full wash. But I do go back um, after highlighting it with some Rackworth Flesh shade and uh, picking a, and sort of blending things a little bit with that. So now I'm re-highlighting the, all the stuff I dry brushed. So using the Gortha Brown, so the medium layer, um, just to help bring up the colors because that, that shade really brought things down. Some Pallid Witch Flesh here, um, highlighting, oh, so this is all the uh, the cords and stuff hang on the dangly things. There's only really on this leader here has them, and one other guy has a little bit of it. Some Retributor Armor, there's a couple little things that I painted gold here, so those little hangers, I figure they're metal. And some of the bracelets on the other guys, and there's some little gems on one of the guys too. Steel Legion Drab for those soul pods, apparently that's what they're called. And some Reichland Flesh Shade on all the arm, the, the gold stuff, as well as those uh, little flesh pods, or sorry, soul pods, whatever they are. Okay, Liberator Gold Highlight for the gold edging. Um, didn't realize this, but I really had to shake that well. It had settled out into sort of a silver and a bronzy color. Um, you can kind of see the layer uh, the, on the paint. I, I shake it up a bit more after that. Uh, Lauren Flor Forest, so going back now with the, the highlights here, picking out all the green bits, just help them bring it up a bit. Not worried too much if I get a bit on the branches near the end there, just to help it transition. Some Ushapti Bone highlights for those uh, soul pods, just picking up all the raised details. Okay, now Moot Green for this gem here. I also use Moot Green for the sort of the runes that are engraved in some of the guys. So I did a, a, a base coat of white and then used a really thin down Moot Green in there. So this here, that gem is the same way that Duncan did it in his video. Here you see some, some of the white going into those things that I'm doing as uh, sort of runes. And there you go. And see on his knee there, he has one too. So I'm using really thin down Moot Green just to pick that out. And I go back with uh, Dryad Bark and uh, and sort of fix up the edges on that. Doing the next highlight with the green here, helping bring that up a bit more. I think I already did the Lorian Forest, so I didn't really need to do this again. I think I, I messed up. But here we go with Strack and Green and getting all the, uh, the leaves and any vines on the guys. Some of this is sort of proper edge highlighting. Some of it's just sort of overbrushing, kind of like a, a heavy dry brush. Okay, here we go with Nurgling Green on all these things. So this is just to help bring up the colors a bit more. That's just a bit more of a dry brush. And Bane Blade Brown, final highlight on all the wood. So this is quite stark uh, comparison to everything else. So just trying to be very careful where I get it and help, help it blend wherever I can. But there's lots of sharp edges on these guys. So just trying to really bring those out and uh, bring the detail up to the next level. All right, and finally, uh, a little bit of Waywatcher green for that uh, little thing in their belly button, um, just to give it a sort of a glowing green sort of a color. Anyways, that's it for these guys. Um, fairly straightforward paint jobs. Kind of followed the general paint scheme that the official GW uh, one had, but kind of improvised here and there, and maybe a bit with my order. Um, but overall, really happy with how these guys go, and looking forward to trying them out in Nightfall. See you next time.